Hey everybody, welcome to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I got quite a few requests of Ken, will you please do a vocal coach reacts to John Mayer. Uh, so I chose to go ahead and do Neon live in LA and then uh, stop this train and I'm gonna you know get to as much of that as I can. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start it around a minute into the video because anyway it's a long guitar intro, intro I've been told. So uh, let's just dive right in and take a listen. Here we go. Great guitar player, man. I like how he's using all his thumb, is it? Now I wanna, I wanna stop one thing for my guitar friends out there. Hey gang, if you notice, he's grabbing the neck with his thumb and he's tapping on it with his other hand, you know, his percussive hand. So he's playing kind of the bass notes with his thumb and then he's also doing some of the pull-offs and other chord structures um, with the rest of his fingers. I use that technique all the time, but very few people do that when you're playing guitar, so that's pretty cool. When sky blue gets dark in See the colors of the city lights A trail of ruby red and diamond white Heads are like a sunrise She comes and goes, comes and goes Like no one can Okay, um, now I have to point something out to my singer friends out there, guys. This is so important. John has gone through two, not one, but two throat surgeries uh, over his singing technique. And that's because predominantly of a lack of good support. He doesn't support really well. Now he's an amazing talent, great songwriter, bluesy guy, decent singer, and, and, and. But the, remember me saying that the overuse of air is the arch enemy to the voice. And so he hadn't learned how to compress that air. And so I even read an article where he says, you know, he's even learned to laugh differently uh, because of the way that um, that's affected him from his throat surgery. So um, there, now there's other people that use a lot of air when they sing and it's definitely not the healthiest thing. Jason Mraz is one, Jack Johnson is another. And it's just a matter of time over time where that overuse of air will overtake the folds. It's kind of like taking a flight flamethrower of air across the folds, the folds become inflamed and swollen. Um, and because of that, they don't get good phonation, good chord closure. So we get something called dysphonia or the lack of sound or no sound. And when that happens, we find ourselves shoving more air across the cord, taking the cricoarytenoid and arytenoid cartilage that holds the vocal folds together, pulling them tighter and tighter and tighter and shoving more air across to get phonation, to get sound. Uh, and that is a recipe for disaster. So um, he has has, you know, kind of taken a whole reconsideration to his voice. And so instead of, hey, 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 right, you can compress that air. Right, you can actually uh, have compression do the work for you and not use that much air and subject your voice to that kind of pressure on the folds to get that kind of inflammation. Okay, let's continue. And I love John, and he's awesome, but I have to point that out because it is is important and he did go through surgeries. Nice pitch. It's a very unique sound too, so it's, it's hard to say not to do that. You just need to know how to compress it correctly. Everything. She comes and goes, she comes and goes like no one can. She comes and goes, and no one knows. Big audience, She's man. Stepping through my hands. She's always buzzing just like neon. You hear I can neon, neon. He's kind of breaking up a little. He's he's having a tough time keeping, kind of even on the low notes. Um, and again, imagine if you had a big band around you and you're trying to project, you can't really project with that kind of sound. Now, like I said, I know Jack Johnson, that's his main staple. And it is the signature of the sound of these guys' voices is to use a lot of air like that. But again, over time, uh, it can be pretty doggone dangerous, okay? Anyway, but everything else is awesome. I just have to keep pointing that out for my singing friends out there because we talk a lot about this. Stuff so neon, neon. Who knows how long, how long, how long she can go before she burns away. 
Empty bands. Oh no, kind of struggling just to get to that. You know it's not my place to hold it down. And it's hard for me to take a stand when I would take her anyway. Just like neon, 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 neon. Yeah. Who knows how long, how long, how long she can go before she blows away. Now that's a pretty sexy way to do that. So instead of just kind of belting, mm, she blows. So he's, he's, he's finessefully getting up to that top and he's actually kind of cutting back the air when he does it and then he comes back down into chest, so oh, away, right? He comes back into his chest voice. That was a really nice touch. Dead voice. A sexy fun rhythm, man. That's cool. Now that's cool. And like no one can, right? He's got, he's starting to compress the sound and that's actually a healthier tone. Even though it's very throaty, uh, he's able to uh, kind of recover into that sound and then get some of his voice back, get some of the bright timbral sound we've talked about um, so that it can resonate with more projection. All right, here we go. Like no one can. Just like neon, 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 neon. Who knows how long, how long, how long? It is band kick major, but I gotta add to that, you know. And they're always changing it up, which is really cool. He's always doing something different. I love that. A true musician. artist, I should say. Whew. That was great. Okay, as promised, I'm going to hunt down, um, let's see here, I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, let's see, uh, da, da, da. come on, can you just add here it is. All right, so I'm going to start, I think it starts around 20 seconds in, so bear with me guys, I'll start around 10 seconds and see what happens. This is from the same show, by the way. Kind of reminds me of Blackbird a little bit. Blackbird in the dead of night. Right. No, I'm not colorblind. I know the world is black and white. Beautiful melody, beautiful guitar thing. By the way, one more thing too, again, kudos to his musicianship and his artistry. Uh, he chooses some really avant-garde, some really esoteric chords, you know what I mean? Not avant-garde, but esoteric chords, which means uh, understood only by a chosen few. Or in other words, some jazz chords that he's able to integrate into his music and be really outside of the box of just playing things typically. And then putting these really cool melodies on top of it is no easy task, let me tell you that. Say that. I try to keep an open mind. Just can't sleep on this tonight. It's pretty. Stop this train. I wanna get off and go home again. I can't take this. Spot on pitch, man. That's great. Moving in. I know I can, but honestly, won't someone stop this train? 
you guys hear the same, the Jack Johnson influence that I was talking about, the kind of similar tone in the voice? Nice a guitar tone too. It's hard to get an acoustic to sound good live. One generation has led the way from fighting life out on my own. And that's true. Looks like he's using an, an SM58, an old school one, and those are hard to get to sound that good too. Stop this train. On his voice. Get off and go home again. I can't take the speed it's moving. I know I can, but honestly, won't someone stop this train? Whistler. You know, I've never been able to whistle. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's one thing I never figured out. I can play a lot of instruments and sing a lot of different stuff, but I can't whistle to save my life. I guess if your voice goes out, you just whistle, right? <laughs> Good timing too. You notice he hasn't sped up or slowed down. Very consistent with his rhythm, rhythmic timing. Great change. Smart, smart songwriting. The Beatles. Now, of all of the musicians that have come in and out, and I mean true musicians, I don't mean, you know, people just standing up in a fight microphone singing cover songs on a, on a TV show. I mean, of true artistry and musicians, there are very few of them out there, and he has just absolutely cut his own path and is so unique and so different and is really has his own unique personality and style and songwriting and singing and playing guitar and is just really coming his own. Kind of like, you know, Jeff Buckley did that and a lot of people, not a lot, Few artists have done that, but the few that have have really stamped their own signature on something to be this unique, which is super awesome. I wish more people would do that. awesome. You know, John is one of those people for myself where you could just, you know, sit and listen to him all night long. There's very few artists like that. Like I said, not just because of the uniqueness, but also the spirit that he has when, when he sings and when he plays. Um, he just loves what he does and you can tell it. And he loves sharing it, you know, and not so much showing it off as much as sharing it with everybody. And how interesting, you know, to be, to have that many people in the audience and just to kind of feel like I'm right there in the, in the living room with him as he's just singing songs right to me, so to speak. So anyway, a two thumbs straight up for 
John, oh, incredible musician, like I said, and it's just an honor to be able to get to do this. Sorry, John, I wasn't trying to be offensive in any way talking about your voice. I'm actually, um, you know, really concerned about a lot of my uh, singer friends out there that uh, really need to understand how to use their voices correctly. And I just want to see a lot of success for you and for them as well. So anyway, if you guys like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, peace out. Hey guys, if you like what you heard, please like and subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. That will actually take you to another page where you want to click on the bell icon and it opens up a menu and the menu has notifications on it where there's a little box you can check where it says send me all notifications for this channel. Check the box and then click the save button and you'll get notifications from me every time I have a cool video come out. Okay, thanks guys. Peace out.